I have not gotten permission to be recorded like this. <laughs> my wife has wrapped me up in shower curtains and a towel on my head. Hello guys, welcome to another episode of For Real Christianity. I am your girl, Miss Joy, and I'm here with another episode, Corona Killer Part 2. That's right. It's something so simple, something you would never guess, but it's been utilized since ancient times to fight disease in the body, and that is water. That's right. So today you're going to learn a very ancient hydrotherapy technique called a steam bath which will induce a fever-like condition in the body to not only mobilize white blood cells, this technique also helps with the elimination of toxins and improved circulation. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. I do it with my husband. We try to do it once a week, both of us, because he's on the front line. And it also is just a great way to self -care. getting your nails done, hair done, going to the barber shop, all of those things are shut down. Things are shut down, right? So you can you can do this on yourself. And it just feels great. Most of the materials you need actually they're right there in your house. I promise you, you'll be fine. You you don't have to make a trip outside to start doing this because I know that's a big concern. We all want to stay home. So go ahead and get your pencil, get your paper, write down these steps, write down what you're gonna need, and I'll be back. Okay guys, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need two shower curtains to wrap around you. You're gonna need a dish pan or a plastic bin. You can also use one of these guys. It's just a foot bath with some circulation help for you. You're also gonna need a pot to boil water in. You can also use a crock pot, which actually helps to keep the steam going a little bit longer. And you're gonna need some towels, four big towels, preferably. Um, you're gonna need a cup of ice for your ice water and for your head. And you're gonna need two hand towels as well. You're also gonna need a chair, a chair that you don't mind getting wet and a kettle to boil water and keep boiling water throughout the treatment. Place the towel on the floor, put the chair on the towel, and then start boiling your water. I added a little lemon and ginger to my water. Um, then once you get the water on, you wanna put a pot under the chair so that once your water finished boiling, you can put it directly under the chair. You wanna pour it right in there. Um, make sure you fill up your foot bin with water as well. Nice warm water, not too hot that the person can't stand it, but just hot enough. And once you have that water showing some steam, steam coming out the pot, steam going coming out the kettle, that's when you know it's ready because the steam is what we need for this treatment. So you want to pour the hot water right under the chair and you want to have your person ready to go because you don't want to lose momentum. You don't want that, that water to cool down. So you set the person in the chair and immediately you wrap them with the shower curtains. And you also want to make sure you put something around the neck so they're nice and comfortable. And then you want to adhere the shower curtains together with either some clips. I'm using some command strips here and it's working just fine. But you can see the white shower curtain in the front and the clear one coming from the back. Now I'm wrapping the head just as to make sure that he does not lose heat from his head because that could cause him illness as well. So let's check in. I have in not gotten permission to be recorded like this. <laughs> my wife has wrapped me up in shower curtains and a towel on my head. But it's for my good. My God said, all things work together for good for those who love him, for those who are called according to his purpose. And my wife is giving, my God has given me a good wife. So. I know this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So I am all right. <laughs> you feel the steam yet? Steam's coming up. I'm heading south. I'm in Virginia. About to get to the Carolinas. On my way down to Florida where it's really warm. 
But I'm on my way. Let me know when you get ready for some ice cold water. Okay. And then we're going to put the ice towel on your head. Sure. Sounds Keep you good. from getting sick. Sounds good. Keep the heat from escaping from your head. Sounds good to me. Sounds so good. as he started to get warmer, then I wrapped him in this blanket to really trap that steam in there. At this point, he's relaxing, listening to some good Christian music. Um, and this is my turn. So you can see my head wrapped as well. I have an extra towel on my forehead. Actually has ice in that towel just to make sure that the heat is not escaping to my head and out of my head, which could cause illness. And you can see me here sweating quite a bit. My legs are pretty much wet. This is after I've finished the treatment and taking everything off. So it really does induce a nice sweat. It's now when you're done, you want to make sure you go straight to the shower and you're going to do a contrast shower. And I'm going to need you to do it three times hot, three times cold. Start with hot and with cold to close up those pores. This is also going to give your body an energy boost. And the best thing to do after that is to take a nap and let your immune system do what it does best while you're sleeping. Contrast showers is also another form of hydrotherapy and this picture shows all the benefits of doing a contrast shower every day if you can. All right, so did you see how easy that was? And that's something you can do today. And one thing I do want to mention before I sign out. Corona Killer 1, Corona Killer 2, all of these things are natural remedies, meaning God made them. And the healing is not so much in what the creation is, right? But it's in the creator. So we do these things as a sign that we have faith in God's power to heal. Think about when Jesus was here and he healed people miraculously. It was always some component of the miracle that he needed them to do as a sign of their faith and to cooperate with him. Think about the man who was blind and Jesus put the mud and the spittle in his eye and told him to go wash it off at the pool of Siloam, right? He was blind. Jesus could have took him by the hand and took him to the pool and washed it off for him. But he said, no, you go and you wash it off, right? As a sign of his belief that Jesus had actually healed them. So I want you to know that prayer is important. Pray before you start the modality. Pray afterwards. Pray before you drink the Corona Killer. Pray after, right? And, and let God know that you believe in his power to heal. And he will do just that because he promised that he would. Utilize this, especially for your family members who you know are going out and still exposed. This is a great way, like I said, to keep them healthy, but also for families to come together and, and, and do some things for each other and do some things that are relaxing. So guys, I love you. God bless you. Go in Jesus peace. I'll be praying for you. Stay safe, stay home, but most of all, stay in Jesus. Yeah.